My name is Imani and I am HIV positive. I've been HIV positive for almost 11 years now. And um, I found that stigma is a big reason that people suffer with HIV. And this whole yard should be filled with people because that's as many people as it affects over the world. Like there's so many people that are affected and affected that this whole yard should be filled. Um, it's sad that people think that HIV isn't that prevalent and that it's not important until they get HIV and then they want to make noise and we need, I feel like prevention is better than treatment and a cure because if you don't get sick in the first place then there's no reason to treat and there's no reason to cure. Um, and I just feel like we live in such a world where like the media, like everything is sexualized. like. The way Facebook goes, fat asses and skinny waist and uh, beautiful yellow skin. Nobody is really represented the way that we should be. There's no, there's no real. You don't really see like too many people of different colors, Asian people, just running around. You see a lot of um, people stigmatizing transgender and homosexuals. Um, when I was young, I didn't think that. Any, I didn't think I thought that HIV was like a homosexual thing like only gay people get it and I was young But when I got HIV, I realized like that's not true You know like a lot of people have HIV and I literally thought that I was like the only straight black woman who um, Contracted HIV through her partner who lied to them and that was so not true And it took me a long time to realize that this happens all the time and people there's people out there that are HIV positive and they won't tell you. There's people out there that are HIV positive and they don't know. So it's no one's fault. Nobody deserves HIV. As, as bad as my ex-husband beat me and as bad as he stigmatized me, his story's fucked up too. And I just feel like with, um, I feel like as for me, I have to tell people because I wasn't told and I feel like I got to give people that respect. I told tricks. I told people that I use drugs with. I tell basically everybody knows. You know, I walk down the street and people will be like, "Oh, you fat AIDS bitch," and I'll be like, "All right, whatever." I guess I love to play people. Like, like I love to play people because they're so stupid that they don't know the difference between HIV and AIDS. So when they come up to me and they're like, "Do you have AIDS?" and I'm like, "No, no, like, no, I have HIV actually," and they'll be like, "Oh, they don't even know the difference." Like, and there's like not that much of a difference but we we find ways to label ourselves to make us feel better even myself and i try to not stigmatize people because it's more than just hiv it's mental health it's drug addiction it's homelessness it's a whole bunch of stuff and we all need to come together like whoever's watching this you need to like come out here next year and support us like george molly is a great guy he's done a lot of work in the community like mad work he's He's very passionate about what he does. He doesn't do it for money. He doesn't do it for fame. He does it because he doesn't want anybody else infected or anybody else who is infected to suffer. And that's like the biggest movement, you know? So I hope that somebody else who's HIV positive or anybody can come up here and tell their story and continue to be strong, George. And thank you so much.